so to convert ost file to pst go to file then click on open and export then go to import export then here select the option export to a file then select outlook data file dot pst then click next in this case we want to uh, export entire ost file so in this case i'll select the uh, email account itself make sure that include subfolders option is selected so that all the subfolders and the folder structure also gets uh, converted to pst and then click next now select the location where you want to store this uh, pst file and then click finish now it will ask to set a password in order to protect the pst file then it, it's asking to type the same password so i'll type the same password then a pst file is created here now to synchronize uh, ost file uh, first check if you get this message connected to microsoft exchange at the bottom then go to send receive tab and you will see option send receive all folders so this will basically uh, try to synchronize all the items in all the folders also select update folder to update uh, individual folders so i can select say sent items and then click on update folder so go to send receive groups go to define send receive groups and then here you will have option schedule and automatic send receive every 30 minutes so by default it's 30 minutes you can set whatever time you want to after the synchronization is done then make sure that you get this message all folders are up to date you can also stop using ost file so go to file account settings double click your email account and you have option as use cached exchange mode so if you uncheck this option then uh, ost file will not be created on your computer so in this case outlook will directly connect to the server without using ost file so i'll uncheck it now and click next finish and i will restart outlook okay so now i have uh, restarted outlook and you could see at the bottom it does not say connected to microsoft exchange but it says online with microsoft exchange that means it's not using ost file uh, that is saved on the computer it is now you can also delete uh, ost file manually so to do that uh, first close outlook then go to the location so type app data go to the local folder microsoft outlook so this is the default location where ost file is stored so you could see this is my uh, dot ost file okay so to delete i can simply uh, select and do a shift delete and that will delete the ost file and next time when i open outlook 
uh, it will again recreate the OST file.